gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Hello, friends. My little bro and I are about to play the Flashlight tag! Do you know how to play? You don't? Oh! Well, let me give you the rundown of the rules. The rules of flashlight tag. Rule number one. If the flashlight shines on you, you're tagged. Rule number two. Well, I guess there's really only one rule. <laughs> Sounds fun, right? Come along with me. Ah! I'm it! Guys, something just happened in the game. I need to make a choice. I need your help. You see, I was running for my little bro, and I could see his flashlight going up and down and up and down and up and down. I knew he was getting closer, so I dove behind the laundry basket. My little bro stopped and shined the flashlight in my direction. As the light passed the basket, it did shine on my little toesies that were sticking out. I guess Callie's getting too big for hiding behind laundry baskets. <laughs> anyway, the rules are, if the light shines on you, you're tagged. My little bro didn't know. I have a choice to make. I can keep on hiding and act like the light didn't shine on me. Or I can tell my little bro that the light hit my toesies and I'm it. This is hard. Friends, what would you do? I want to tell the truth. But I love to win too. Don't you? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if there's something or someone that can make this choice easier to make. I need to keep wondering while we check out our Bible story for the day. It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Mark chapter 15. Shortly after Jesus ate the last meal he would have with his friends, he was arrested. Those who wanted Jesus arrested did not know him very well and didn't believe Jesus was God's son. Now, Jesus had to stand in front of Pilate, who was like a judge. He decided what happened to Jesus next. People said many bad things about Jesus, but Jesus didn't say much. Jesus knew who he was and that he didn't do anything wrong. Jesus also knew that this was part of God's plan. Every year at this time, people could choose one prisoner to be set free. The crowd of people all called for Pilate to let one prisoner go. The choices were between Jesus and another prisoner, Barabbas. Sadly, the people made a bad choice. They chose to let Barabbas go instead of Jesus. They also told Pilate to have Jesus crucified where he would be nailed to a cross to die. We all make poor choices sometimes, but this story teaches us that when we have to make a difficult choice, we can choose Jesus. This was a really big choice. Even though the people in the story didn't choose Jesus, we can. We can choose Jesus when we do the right thing. We can choose Jesus when we show kindness by sharing a toy or a snack. We can choose Jesus when we put our trust in God. That decision about if I should lie about being tagged is easier now. I can choose Jesus in everything I do. Hey, little bro, you got me. Now you better run. You want to help me try and shine the flashlight on my little bro? I'm so glad I made the right choice and I'm thankful for our Bible story today. What was that big idea again? We can choose Jesus. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. See you next.